Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I am making a seven and a half pound batch of sandalwood rose, and it's a fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus. It says soft floral nuances of rose petals, pink peony, and jasmine are deepened with patchouli and sandalwood. And I'm gonna kind of keep it simple. The base is gonna be a creamy white, and I'm gonna use this gold color. This is from TKB, and instead of a green, it's kind of a greenish gold. And then I also have this brilliant glitter, whoops, brilliant glitter red which I just noticed on here and not stable and high pH. Um, okay, so I'm not using that one. But I do have Really Red from Nurture, or from, yeah, Nurture Soap, and I have Ruby Red. So I also have a little bit of a pink. Um, I'm going to try to get just the color of these rose petals because this is what I'm putting on the top. They're like a reddish pink color, and so I'm just going to use, you can kind of see the petals are like a gray, or a greenish gold, so I'm just going to use the two colors with white, and I might pipe little leaves on the top with the roses when I'm done, so let's get started.
cut sandalwood rose and that's the top and I don't have a whole lot of hope for the design here I it thickened up on me so quick that I feel like I didn't have time to do what I wanted to do and then it looked like I was just messing around with it so I was a little bummed but you can see that the I did want a creamy background but you can see that it kind of is a almost a yellowish background which is really pretty this is a small one this will be a sample what I was trying to do was pour the green so it kind of looked like a stem and then red up here for a rose but because it thickened it didn't drop down into the soap like I wanted it to so that's okay though these two are little bars I spaced didn't do a great job spacing here to actually this one's going to be bigger because I'm going to put it here I mean it sort of resembles a flower like that sort of looks like a stem and leaves um, it could have been worse let's put it that way Yeah, I really think that one looks kind of like a flower. Now that one, not so much. I probably won't cut this entire loaf. I know some of you really like it when I do that, but I have a graduation, um, it's called IGP here. I don't know if it's that everywhere, but it's called an, it's an individual graduation plan. And it is to make sure Mackenzie is on track you know, for everything for graduation and filling out financial aid forms and all of that stuff that I am definitely not ready for. So I have to, I wanted to get these three soaps cut so that I could hopefully have time when I get home to upload at least one video for you guys. So um, I'll just probably cut a couple more bars. A couple of them are going to be really big. But I've been thinking about cutting some of my soaps, like this could be an example. If I cut it into thirds, it would be like mini guest soap samples. And I kind of think that's a cool idea. And then I could just sell them for a little bit less expensive for those who maybe want to give it to someone as just a little token. Um, tell me what you guys think about that in the comments, uh, especially my customers, because I know a lot of you guys watch my videos. Let me know if that's something that you're interested in, and I kind of have a way in my head that I'd want to package them if I did that, but I have a show coming up in the end of November, I believe, or beginning of December. I have a show, and I thought that might be a cool idea to do some like that. Okay, this is the last one because I really got to get going. But thanks so much for watching, guys. These look like lips. I will see you all in the next video.